Hey man, it's Phil X. And I'm starting a whole batch of videos today and it's April 1st, 2016. So if you see this shirt, cause I'm not changing it for you guys. If you see this shirt and these dirty jeans, it's April 1st, 2016. Um, okay, and uh, no jokes yet today, no April Fool's jokes. Oh, here's one. I took a shower today. April Fool's! No, I didn't! <laughs> this is a 1972 Fender Telecaster Thin Line. Custom color. Lake Placid Blue. Looking kind of cool. This is a, you can tell this, uh, there's some warping going on in, uh, on the pickguard. So maybe got left in a trunk at the beach or something. Um, this weighs 6.4 pounds. Two Fender Seth Lover humbuckers. Woo! with outputs of 9.88 and 10.32. That's pretty hot. Yeah, okay, I'll look over there. That's pretty hot. Um, not super hot, just hot, hot. Not even hot, hot, medium hot. Uh, nice to medium thick neck profile. Um, and here's a little tidbit of information. Uh, all custom color thin lines are rare. This is the first LPB thin line. LPB being like Lake Placid Blue. Um, that we have handled 100% original and untouched, except by the sun in, on a scorching day on the Pacific Coast Highway. All right, um, I'm, unplugged, I'm plugged into the Friedman. I got no pedals on. I'm gonna start off with the volume really low so we can hear how dynamic this, this thing sounds. That's the treble pickup, man. I know you're thinking, a lot of people don't understand that Tellies usually, usually sound like tellies because they have single coil pickups, and this is a, a, a humbucker, but it's kind of like a broad, a broad spread up coils kind of thing, is what they, I don't know what the hell they call them. Do I, do I look like a pro? No. Um, so, you hit it hard, and you get that attack, and then you hit it light, and you can see. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up a little more. Turn it up a lot. position so you can hear the same kind of dynamic range. That's the middle position. Dark. Sweet dark chocolate. 90%. And then cranked up. And this is the neck pickup. That's pretty smooth, man. You can almost get a... Wait, did you say Guns N' Roses are playing the Troubadour tonight? I bet that's an April Fool's joke. No? No? Shit. What am I doing tonight? <sighs> Taking care of the kids. All right, uh, let's put a little overdrive on that so it sounds even more like... Uh, like, uh, what's his face? Okay, I know uh, people are like, I know it's Slash, man. I just said, what's his face? So all the Slash fans are like, <gasps> guy. Oh, fuck <gasps> you. No, <gasps> no one. Come on, it's April Fools. Let's have fun. It's almost like Christmas. Okay, I always do this. I just got to get into the, the, the role of like. Skip all day, out all night. Why don't we get going? Don't think that's what I can write. You don't think it's showing. Woo! Thank you. 
Okay, check it out. Checking Ying amps. Now we're not going super clean, but this is a Vox, and it's a uh, it's a hand wired newer model, but it uh, it sounds really cool. It's got this really cool open kind of combo sound. <laughs> Or you get James Brown, man. Ha! Oh yeah, I'm in D, man. I changed modes, man. I was in blues mode, and then I went into <laughs> Indian mode, and then I went back to blues mode, and I don't know what I'm doing today. It's kind of crazy. Okay, neck pickup, man. Let's do a really quick lesson, because you guys are like, this guy doesn't do anything anymore. I'm gonna do a quick lesson. Uh, a lot of guys are like, hey man, how do I learn my way around the fretboard and shit like this? Well, let's do this really easy. Let's do a lick an A. And you know how many A's are on here? Like 11, wait. One, I'm not even using the open string. One, two, three, four, wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten A's. So we'll take a lick like, and we'll do it in all ten places. And you can go, dude, that's how you learn around the fretboard. Once you know where all your A's are, you can like jam all over the fretboard. Ready? Oh yeah! Woo! Ow! Uh. Woo! Woo! And if I had a 20 second fret, I could do one more. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so, um... When you're soloing in a key, any key, just find out where all those the A's or the B's or the D's or the E's, wherever they are, and just start doing licks on every E that you have, or A, or whatever. And then that's how you, oh man, that's really cool. Because when you get good at that, then do it in B flat, and that's motherfucking hard. All right, so, um, what do we got? Life in the fast lane, haven't done that in a long time. Uh, this is Dustin's request. <laughs> What's really cool about the Eagles? Almost everything. So yeah, New Kid in Town. It's got that lick in there, and it's just like so bendy and smooth and cool, and like a, a good rhythm syncopation to it. Sounds like. A <laughs> See how I fell off there? That's because that's what I do on strats and tellies. Okay, what else we got? I don't know. Let's do something with the band, man! Ow! I, we never talked before songs, but I have to. I love this solo, but I, I can't remember it. So it ain't gonna be right. <laughs>